It is another interesting edition of the market review where we discuss key developments in the financial and capital market as it affects the economy. Today, our focus will be the proposed Security and Exchange Commission 10 year master plan review, deepening investor education. And my guest is Mr. Ambrose Odion, CEO Invest Data. Happy New Year to you and nice to have you on the show, Mr. Ambrose. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Yes, yes. Always a pleasure having you. Before we begin the conversation, let us take you to some key developments that occurred in the capital market from last week. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC Nigeria, plans to organize a capital market conference to launch a revised version of the 10-year capital market master plan this year to reflect the dynamism of the market and developments in the fintech industry, amongst others. Director General of SEC Nigeria, Mr. Lamido Yuguda, stated this earlier this year in Abuja. Amidst the likely headwinds that will impact the Nigerian capital market, investors have been advised to follow the time-honored cautious investment path of asset allocation, risk management, and portfolio diversification. Professor Uche Waleke, the president of the Association of Capital Market Academics of Nigeria, Ackman, asserted this in his open article published on ProShare with the title, Crystal Gazing, the Nigerian Stock Market in 2022. And also, the FMDQ exchange announced that it has approved for quotation the Mikio Industries Limited 0.49 billion naira Series 1 and 1.44 billion naira Series 2 commercial papers under its 20 billion commercial paper issuance program on its platform. We go on a break, and when we return, we'll continue with this conversation. Tune in to Web TV Day to stay up to date and informed on the financial market, personal finance, and more. We have got you covered with all your favorite TV shows, economy and politics, market review, women's series, millennial talk, Islamic Finance Weekly, The Brief, exclusive interviews, events, and we keep you up to date on all the updates in the financial market with the market opening gong. Watch premium content. Watch Web TV. Same news, different perspective. Welcome back. And if you are joining us, it is the Market Review. And my guest is Mr. Ambrose Omodion, CEO of Invest Data. Mr. Ambrose, let's get on to the key story. Uh, the fact that the Security and Exchange Commission is going to revise its 10-year capital market master plan. It plans a conference, which is very interesting. I'd like to ask you, as it concerns what we discussed last time, the need to drive a market-wide investor education plan, what would you like the apex regulator to do differently this time? Yeah, actually, you know before now that the low participation in the market or penetration is a result of a lack of investment education, holistic one, I mean, that if we have that uh, open education, we see more participants you know, in the market. I will tell you that capital market generally is having a slow participation due to what lack and poor investment education. Why I say so is that if you look at the number of Nigerians that have been in crystal currency as we speak today, and in the last two years, they have made losses, but see, they are still in that circle. It tells you that they, what, they know what they are doing. If the SEC now so they decide to kind of review the 10 years plan. I think it's a work on development for me at this point because they have go, go, a goal for short term goal or have long term goal. You know, if you are having 10 years plan to train children and secondary school out about investment education, that is another strategy. But those that are moving away from market or those that are looking elsewhere, they don't need 10 years plan. You need action now. You need to take education to them now so that they will cannot you know, prioritize their, their objective. Because if I'm thinking to have like investor, we have a investor academy, the strategy we use to teach those that are in secondary school, those that are in primary school, those that are you known uh, you know, like uh, street ones, I call them street boys, like those that are um, self-employed, and those that are working for stock working firm, they have different model. And this model works for different people because you have targets for them. Then if you want to discourage people looking away from the capital market, you must let them know the risk involved. And when they know that it's alternative, you no. Know, to what they are doing that is not paying them or whatever that policy scheme, whatever they are doing, there's alternative. And this alternative is well communicated to them that this is how it works. This is your return. I'm telling you, they have more confidence. Everybody wants to identify with success. I'm telling you, if you understand that being part owner of MTN, part owner of Dangote Cement, 
who, who take them to the next level, they will easily identify, but nobody has taken this education to them. Because I'm telling you, to those who speak, we have more than uh, 180 stop working firms, and about uh, all together, we total about 300. I will tell you that they are not doing much to educate Nigerians in terms of education, because they are targeting you no know, just to make profit and profit. No, but I'll tell you today that many Nigerians have bank accounts. They can work anywhere and open account. How many Nigerians can work to anywhere and say it's open stop working uh, firm account? They are not there. They are not have, don't have that sense of belonging. That is why we need to take education to them because they are doing online education for journalists, online education for you know elites in the market. But those uh, you know informal people, those are uh, Marawa, those association, you know taxi drivers association, they are not doing so because they can't join you on your on your Zoom. We need to have different you no know, social media or social platforms to keep them. Yes, it's good to employ technology in all we are doing, but mm -hmm. what technology will do for those that are you and I is different from the man on the street. You no, know, we can do also normal, you no know, mainstream uh, media. Okay, we can do also find out a way to reach out a platform you know, to reach out for them, let them understand what it is to invest. Because if they know, we'll see more participants in our market today. Because the market has speak now out of uh, most 200 million Nigerians. How many are in the market? Is because there's lack of education. SEC need to rethink their strategy. I said it earlier in the previous that they need to decentralize their investment education. Like investors that will have different strategies and different uh, targets for them. Yes, NSC is doing a comic for children. Those ones are long-term things you are doing. I agree with them. But those that will participate right now that are earning, I'm telling you, a, a man that is driving marijuana in, in Lagos that saves 5,000 naira every week. When the man sees a place that they can give him Another five thousand naira. That he will take that and go and put them there because he don't understand where to put it. He didn't get another alternative. But if you are nice, we tell them there's another alternative that is trusted. That where you know your money is secure. That's why that we don't guarantee in a, in a stock market. But if you invest in good stock, you know there's only have to leverage on some risks. Which you said that the mention the name of the one of the you no know, investment education and you no know, pioneer that said. This time now, in 2022, when people are looking at how to make money, looking at here and there, no, if you understand the strategy how to invest widely in the market, you still make money, whether there is uncertainty, there's opportunity in that uncertainty. But when they understand all this, they will feel free to identify with you know, the market and invest wisely. But when they don't know all this, because it's meant for those that are wearing tie, those that are bankers, let's take it to those that are in the farm. I know somebody that is in the farm, it's on internet to two for investing, calling me from the farm, investing. Because because you understand the product of technology. But we need to say that the demand that understand it and the one that is driving Marwa, they don't have the same time. There's another way that one can get his own investment education, also participate in this market. But they are looking at technology, uh, Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, Zoom is meant for different class of people. That means you need to break your strategy down. That means I said, it's good that they're going to rethink on this 10 years plan because they are, they are, I call short term plan and long term plan. The short term plan is to win those that are looking the world of scheme back to the market. And those that are born, they think they're going to born before now, tell them why they got that born and why they should come back. That the market has become more transparent. What they do wrongly before, they have to do it rightly now. They will come back. But when nobody's there to guide them, they will be looking one side. I think they, it's, you know, it's the right time that Seth is thinking that direction. Also, I, I know. I welcome that development that this is the time for us to you know, reflect that the 10 years plan and infuse new things that by all. Also, SEC cannot be it alone. Let me tell you, SEC think that, okay, they are regulators, they can't do it alone. It's time for them to you know, collaborate with uh, the market operators and others that are involved in investment education. But I said earlier that the kind of education you give a stockbroker, the such person, it's not the one you give the man on the street. It's not the one you give the child that is in secondary school or the child that is in primary school. That means we need to, that is why people look at CIS. CIS is for professionals. That one is not to deepen the market education we want to are staying. That one is to bring them become more risk, you know, advanced and all that things. But that means they have different strategies to give away education. That is why in the that we are caught out to know that all this education is being known spread across the board. Whether you are rich, you are poor, anywhere you are, will reach you. And that is why today that that academy is wasn't strong because people are saying that we are telling them what they are seeing in the market. Not only that telling them, they are seeing the money they are making. You no, know, we will today in Nigeria will say, yes. I will advise my client and I follow up to the day he, he, he made profit or made loss. We advise him, not, we are not, they are not there because when just come, I take my commission. That is not the strategy. You must follow them to know to the that to the to the to the level, level they are and get the information. Like now we are saying the market in 2021 return about 6.07, mm -hmm. which for mm -hmm. the general market. But those that participated in invest 2021 that were held in December 2020, uh, 2020, 2020 December 4th. They made average of their portfolio 53.9 for the same market that returned just 6.7. Tell you that, you know, if you understand the strategy, you be in rest of 
No, who have different investment goals? That's why market is made up of traders and investors. What are different goals in the same market? That is the beauty of the stock market. But okay. let them have education that will guide them. <laughs> Not just you no know, keeping as if you no know, because of your staff. No. And also the market operators don't have the such money to that. But when they come together and together, I think that they can achieve a better goal because look at what is happening in Pencom, in the pension um, administrators or the pension operating market. Just they have come together to make sure that they carry people along, to make sure that they drive that uh, side of the business. Let's say do the same thing with the NSC, with the market operators, make sure that they have a platform to educate Nigeria, not just saying in the office. No, let them because today I'll tell you walking on the street, you see some people wearing either GTP or Zenith Bank opening bank account for, for different people on the road. Are they doing that for stop working for um, stop working friends? No. We need to take the that is what for me it's a well, good well, that well, is uh, rethinking and coming and this way. I think for me it's a welcome development. Welcome development, Mr. Ambrose. I mean, I, I could see the passion and I follow your updates uh, on invest data. And I, I must say, I hope that uh, your likes and others will be invited for that conference. It will be a broad-based interaction and we can get very nice inputs as we think the capital market master plan. But you raised something and uh, it's a real concern, Mr. Ambrose. I mean, Nigeria has had a history with Ponzi schemes. When we were small, uh, I mean, in primary school, we used to hear of the resources managers limited and people fell for the, that particular one. And then, of course, several years ago, Nigerians lost over 10 billion naira to the MMM scheme, according to the NDIC. Today, again, we are facing the battle with Ponzi schemes across the country, running into multi-billions. There is need for a collaboration, like you said. Is it not time for SEC? Central Bank of Nigeria and other critical regulators to come together and work with stakeholders like you to find ways to address this Ponzi uh, scheme uh, scourge, if I put it that way, in the country. For me, it is easy for us to address the issue if, as we just said, the parties involved will play it the way they should. Because if you look at people that lost their money in 2009, 2008, when they have the bubble, they met down. Most yeah. of them are still lost in their womb because you know they lost money and they've not come back. For contrary, the market they lost money is where they can make money if you change your strategy. But if you are doing things the same way, you won't get back what you are. But if you are changing your strategy, the same market have made a lot of billionaire since 2009, uh, 2090 date. That means you know if you are sitting uh, you know, along the sideline or you are sitting behind, you no know, you no know, mourning that or you no know, nursing your wound, complaining, you won't make the difference. It's better you come back. You no. Know, your strategy, learn more new strategies and better with because then they are following bad wagon. Uh, one say, Oh, small name is a say this was good enough to go and buy. No, now let your investment go and objective guide you. But what I just want to address on this place is that, like we just said, if there is no work collaboration between all the operators in the market, I will tell you we will take this news to the public about the importance of investing in equity or investing in capital market generally. Because if people have lost money in the last two years in cryptocurrency heavily, and they are still playing it, tell you that the both the educated and the educated are playing that circle. We need to also go there and tell them, come, the same market, capital market, if you know how to play, like, your risk is managed, your risk is calculated. That means you know what to do. But when you leave it open that they see another alternative, oh, I tell you, like you just mentioned, billions that have gone to that positive scale, is because sex said they have invested money in the educating Nigeria, telling, them, so, telling me that positive scheme is bad, but you didn't give me alternative to put my money. We didn't even give me an alternative that I understand. I won't leave that position because I'm afraid of going because you didn't give me knowledge. But that one, say, bring money, I'll give you 100%. Easily go there, the first day, give me 100%. I go and sell home, my whole house and put there. The next day, the place is down because I, they are giving me good return. But the same market capital market can see give investor return. You cannot over promise them. You can't tell them, say this is what you want. If you invest you know, wisely with information, with this technology that I was saying, I'm telling you, they can manage their risk because there's a different way of investing. I'll tell you before in Nigeria, we know how to buy stock, we don't know how to sell stock. I will see today, that's they know when to buy, they don't know when to sell. So you know yeah. when to buy, they don't know when to sell. They don't know when to sell. And also, it's because they don't know how what we call stop loss in their plan. They don't know how a lot of this when they are buying. They don't buy any stock. No, if you have investment goal, it will determine the kind of stock you buy, the sector you should be, you know the source of your fund. When they are clear of all this, they know where to put their money. But they are not doing what stock working firm is in charge is. Uh, uh, the interested is bring money, go and buy the stock. They finish. No, no, that client advising. That is why for me it is go even apart from educating the the public. Also, we should also change the pattern of the market operators. Let them know that you know either they have called it counseling or anything in the office. 
not just come open account and buy. No, that's why they are running. Some people that will guide them. Yes, we are not guaranteeing them, but to guide them that they reduce their risk, you know, the mistake will be reduced. But these days, what they do is they come open account, pay me, buy me in the bank, they buy. The man don't know when to sell because we are bought. The man have not given money to sell for him. You know, you don't leave it there. It will go up and come down. The man is still waiting. The man say, oh, God, ah, I hear say the price is so price. Is that again? I say, you didn't give money to sell. No, let them participate. You know, and now that we are having information at the finger, at the finger tip with all this internet and uh, technology. Today, I'm telling you, the way I have access to market information, that is the way market operators uh, have access to market you know, the uh, information. That means that all those uh, you know, the people on the street, if they have their phone, they can only have access to information. They call someone that they you know, help them to analyze it and take a decision. Let's take advantage of the technology because technology has no ban, there has no, no boundary, that it has reaches everywhere. That means if the technology has no ban and no boundary, that means we can go far by connecting to them. But as I said, it must be different type of media. We have the normal mainstream media, we have the access media, we have the you know the internet, we have the all those on board, all those on the street that are farmers, all those that, that are they don't know those on board. But now it's another one that suits them. But if you sit down and say you are sending SMS, you are sending SMS, SMS to who? No, what about the rest of them? Oh, no, SEC has spent money in trying to kind of uh, tell you that positive to it is bad, but the, their effort have no you know, the, the desired result. That means they need to change their strategy. That is why anything you are doing in life that is not bringing results, you sit now ask yourself a question, what am I doing? Is it better than you not people that will give you more idea to achieve results, but they keep it to themselves, spending money, and this they're not seeing results. I think it's good that they are reviewing the 10 years plan and sec. For me, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a, it's a good one. And uh, as we begin to wrap up, Mr. Ambrose, you talked about technology. And I must tell you that at the Maiden Nigerian Exchange Limited uh, Capital Market Conference, it was raised that the average age of uh, the investor in the Nigerian uh, capital market at the moment is 53. That, that, is, uh, that is above 50. And you have a huge population uh, dominated by those that are between the ages of 18 to 34. So we need to get this one. And like you said, technology is a key tool. Um, cryptocurrency, digital finance, they are really in it. It has to be made in a way that they can participate, improve the time to transaction, I mean the whole process settlement, improve the technology. Uh, we've seen a lot of innovation across NGX, FNBQ, even the NSD, Unlisted Security and Commodities Market. What more can be done to really, really improve, like you've rightly said, we have only two, about two million investors in the market out of 200 million, that's about 1%. Let's say we can push it to 10% uh, of the population, 20 million, that wouldn't be bad. Let, 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 let me shock you here now, what you said now. You know, it's about, uh, it's about the uh, information. Yes. You know, when I started Invest Data by God's grace, we were yeah. those very few. Mm. And uh, what about just, uh, let me just tell you about eight subscribers to our service gradually. But there's one thing that don't happen. Mm. Many of them that are employer and they engage, they don't have time to analyze the market. We mm. produce one product called uh, Buy and Sell Signal. Let me just keep it like that. Buy and Sell Signal. Mm. I think uh, it's in an advanced country, they do that, you know, not often here. Mm. Then we increase for that within two years, we move from seven subscribers to about 150 subscribers in that platform, get information on what to buy and what to sell. They were active in the market. If we are more than eight or 10 doing the same thing and we are giving them value for their money, I'm telling you, we could draw their in. It's all about sitting down and thinking, you no, know, there are a lot of things technology can help us to do in Nigeria, but we are not looking at it. You know, we are thinking, now to bring one professor from somewhere who we'll bring on somebody from one tech from one uh, Harvard University. But these are the things that they even tech is called they are confused. Let's look in what we have an engineer that can you know I have I know a uh, post is part of you know who that will educate the public. And today it's not, it's not today I know post share people have been there educating to get, to get now if we get, they give you more no more uh, uh, or more what you need to make it you know faster you will do that well others I know that are there if we come together we educate and just we'll drive people to this market and that will create employment. Why I say so that no, I, meet, I met one of the government, uh, government officials in one of the states. I said, come, in this, my product, if you want to empower your youth, the idea of doing one vocation, uh, um, a vocation a week, you say you are training them, after they give them 50,000, 150,000 to go and start. And because they learn capital in that vocation, they, they were ashamed to go and look at capital outside for furniture. Let me use that word. Outside. After they do that 150, after they leave that vocation for that two weeks, they pocket the money and that, that thing goes on that. I, 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 I say they're on employment, unemployment, youth unemployment. But I'm telling you, if you can empower anybody in Nigeria with just 50K and tell the person, okay, like you said, we are all doing people's currency today. I tell you, stop to buy, to sell. With that 50K, you are doing it every week. You are making 8%, 3% every week. You are doing it in a month. You make 15%, 10% in a month. Before you know it, you are start going to 50,000 naira. Before you go to 50,000 to what? To 200, for 200. Before you know it, you employ yourself. 
Mm. No, it's not that we are waiting for one government to come and share one money for you. That's why, no, if I can see another ideal government that are bringing here and there, it the prison of why you still want to share us uh, faster than that to for to choosing their ways. What kind of is that thinking? That's what we need in Nigeria. We need to empower youth, give them you no know, good uh, you know, education, empower them. Technology, as you just said, technology is what we need, and our youth are the, the major population we have in Nigeria today. If those youth are empowered, I'm telling you, peace will reign in this country and everything will work you know, smoothly. For me, SEC should also use their office and not only contribute to economic development in terms of uh, non raising capital, it's also to create job. Because that is, that is the of, as you are creating job, it's going to oil the economic growth. If you are creating jobs, people are buying, because a lot of activities will be there. But now we are thinking of you know, importing or borrowing. No, let's empower people, let them be active in the economy. We see that when the economy is active, our GDP will look up. Mm. I mean, uh, Mr. Ambrose, you've really wrapped it up in a very good way. Innovative products is the future. And when you have products like that, you attract more uh, investors into the market, particularly the young ones. And with what you just said, with invest data, if other stakeholders in the market do the same, operators and across board, I believe that the Nigerian capital market will be more attractive. And maybe in the next two years, we'll be surprised to look at 20 million investors participating. It's, it's a, an ambitious one, but it's not hard to achieve if we just one area bringing innovative products, leveraging technology. Yes, I agree with you. And also, like, for Randolph, let me tell you one thing again that is very important here. Yeah. You know, SEC has always been, I would like to put it, if I use language, they, 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 might, they might not be happy to me. Let me not leave it there. You know? Yes. So, you know, if you said you only want to, to develop the market, yes, when you come on board as DG, you have plan. Then you now start giving targets for your plan. If I stay this office for, for, one, uh, for one quarter, 90 days or for three months, or what would it what have I achieved? How I many number of people are newly attracted to the market? If yeah. today we we'll start it and they are they call us on board, I will tell them started to be that to make sure that people are increasing. When I started, I know the number of people that are my subscription list. Today, the way they are going every year, I know that is going to depend whether we are making progress. Because if people have lost money and they put their back head into their into the like a, a snail and they are not coming out, but when they see that there is progress, they will come out, then they don't know that you can't. That before I tell you during the time of uh, the time of um, Soludo recapitulation in 2006, you know, markets were born, everybody in the market. Now, mm -hmm. the simple thing that you should do understand that what happened in the MTN subscription just recently, this last year, year, to tell you that people need information because they understand that they want to identify with MTN, they are coming out because I want to identify with this brand. This is what we need to tell them that you want part owner, you know, and it is proud to be part owner of a company. I'm part owner of, uh, you know, that, um, of uh, MTN, part owner of Dangote Smith. You see, they think that they want to part owner of Zenit Bank. If you tell them the, the importance of that and how they go to make money from it, they will come back. If you know how to just assess your, your progress, that is the way it should be. I think they said to, to, to take up this uh, review they are doing and also invite the right people. You know, in Nigeria, we like talking uh, stories and that's what I tell stories that's what we want to look at. And uh, at the end of the day, all the same will just still be the same. No, we need a change and we must move forward. Definitely. I mean, that part of having a plan. I remember the former chairman of the US SEC, Jay Clayton. He came with a very clear plan, particularly on tracking down on market infraction. I can tell you, under his watch, market infractions was tracked very well and SEC generated a lot by fines from various companies, including the great man, Elon Musk of Tesla. So I agree with you. Yes. The strategy is important and I hope that that will come forth from SEC going forward. But I must appreciate you, Mr. Ambrose Adion, CEO of Invest Data, what you people do in Invest Data, creating awareness in the market and bringing innovative products. We also, the other market stakeholders and operators will also take that part as they are doing their own business and trade to improve market awareness, education, and provide opportunity for people to understand the market better and leverage and create value from it. Thank you once again for the time. Yeah, thanks for having me. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Review Show. Very interesting conversation today. I guess you enjoyed it. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions on the proposed SEC Nigeria 10-year master plan review, deepening investor education, please send them to otobasi.com at And also, you can follow our website, www.proshengi.com, to get the latest stories on the capital market and reports and stories. I and mean, we have them captured for you from equities to the fixed income, to the commodities, and even the unlisted securities uh, markets. Also, our guest today, Mr. Ambassador, is also sometimes a writer and uh, presents things that we publish on Invest Data. You can always check that also on our website. You can engage us uh, continually. We're ready to serve the market. Don't forget that you need to be informed to make the right investment decisions so you don't fall to things like Ponzi schemes. We don't wish that for you in 2022. Thank you for watching and keep discussing the financial and capital markets because they create wealth and economic opportunities.